Today we're going to be playing with the QCAT a little bit. QCAT is a barcode scanner uh, that plugs into your mouse, or I'm sorry, keyboard port. Uh, originally uh, used for Radio Shack to scan items out of catalogs. Um, the QCAT is a very uh, low price uh, barcode scanner. Uh, there are some things you need to look at when you are buying one though. Uh, I have a PS2 barcode uh, QCAT scanner. Uh, so, a lot of new computers don't have PS2 ports on them. Uh, it allows you to plug into a PS2 port and then the keyboard plugs into there so you're still able to use your keyboard. Uh, but, if you don't have a PS2 port, that can be a problem. I've read online that you can use a U uh, PS2 to USB adapter. I bought two of them, neither of them worked. One didn't work at all, the other one, when I scan stuff, all it outputs is zeros. I don't understand because uh, uh, the one that outputs zeros works fine on my keyboard. The other one was a piece of crap, didn't work at all. But uh, if you have a PS2 port and you want to scan stuff uh, with a barcode scanner, the QCAT is a good way to go. When you buy one, oh, you can also buy uh, a USB version. They tend to be a little more expensive though, although it's still low price. Uh, the PS2 one, I want to say I spent $3 plus shipping on it. I just looked on Amazon, they're about $6-$7 um, plus shipping. Although when you're buying, make sure you buy one that says it's been declawed. Uh, th basically, that's a process that uh, someone has opened it up and basically made a slight modification, I think just unsolders one connection, and that allows it to work without the Radio Shack software, from my understanding, if it's not declawed. Um, you'll have to declaw it. You can get directions online if you can't find a declawed one. Um, mine, I bought declawed. So when you're buying one, keep that in mind that you may want to check to make sure it's been declawed and that you have a PS2 port on your computer. Other than that, you plug this plug into your PS2 port on your computer and if you have a PS2 keyboard, you plug uh, this plug, uh, your keyboard into this plug. Um, also remember that PS2 is not hot swappable. So if you plug it in and it doesn't work, you may have to restart your computer. Uh, but once that happens, once you have it plugged in, it will light up red here on the cat's mouth. And then you can just scan a barcode, as long as it's a standard barcode on most products. Books, CDs, DVDs, groceries. And it will type the number of that barcode as if you're typing it on the keyboard. And it even presses enter at the end, which is great for what we're going to use it for today. Using uh, a little bash script to play music from our, for, yeah, to play uh, the music on a CD that we've already ripped to MP3. So basically I'll have all my MP3s on my computer. We're going to write a code that when we swipe this, it checks a little database that we're going to create and we'll play that album just for a little fun and practice. So let's get started and we're going to plug in our PS2 QCAT. Okay. So I'm going to do this a little different than I originally was planning on doing it. When I first got my QCAT, I wrote a script, and basically I put all my albums into a complain text file along with the PAR code uh, numbers that I've scanned. And then I would have, when I scan it, it would search through that little uh, text file, find that number, use cut to cut and get the name of the album, then use mPlayer to go and play that album. And I actually just a few minutes ago thought of an easier way to do that. And that's the way we're going to go. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but right now I'm in a music folder. I've got two albums in here. I got uh, The Fragile and then Year One Remixed. And um, so if I wanted to play The Fragile uh, with, um, with uh, M Player, I would type in M Player, you know, the folder, like so, and it would start playing. And I could obviously jump through the songs. And I can control C to kill out of that. Now you can also, and this is how we're going to do it this time around, is we're going to create a playlist for each album. This will be great in case you uh, don't want to just play a folder, which is the way my old way worked. You can actually make different playlists for when you scan a uh, uh, album. And once again, it doesn't have to be an album. You could have a can of beans on your desk and scan it with a QCAT and set it to play a certain playlist when you scan that can of beans. So. The way you create a playlist is you just put a list of all the files you want uh, to play into a plain text file. That's one of the playlists that M Player can play. Also, if you use other type of uh, media players and you can create playlists with them, there's a good chance M Player can play them. But we're just going to go the simple route. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the find command. 
I'm going to find all files. Let me put in the folder here in the folder for the fragile. Oh, why did I put that forward slash there? So we're going to find all files in that folder. I'm going to say that are MP3 files. Now you may have other formats. The reason I'm not going to use just a plain asterisk and find all files is because I know there might be album art and stuff in there. And I think M player will just skip over it, it won't cause any problems. But I know that all these files are MP3s. So I hit enter there and it lists out all the files in that folder. Now I just have to redirect those into a text file. Now instead of giving that text file a regular name, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my QCAT now and I'm going to pick up the Fragile album and I'm going to swipe the barcode. And when I do that, it should type the number of the barcode. There we go. So it took me uh, two swipes there because it's not the best barcoder in the world, so reader in the world. So if I list out now, you can see now I have those folders and a text file with a big long name, number for a name. Well, anytime I swipe that barcode with the QCAT, it's going to type in that number. So if I say mplayer dash playlist, and then once again, I take the QCAT and I swipe the barcode on that album, it will start playing that playlist because the playlist has the same name as um, the number there. I hope I'm explaining that well. So yeah, you're going to basically fill up this folder with a bunch of text files with big long names like that. So it may not be the prettiest way. You can also, uh, you know, make them hidden files. I just found that this is the simplest way. Like I said, there's a lot of options. And I just want to show you a basic concept of how the QCAT works. So now I can run the same find command as before. I can say find year one remixed and I can say dash um, I name for searching by name and it's case insensitive. That's what the I is for. And we'll say all MP3s and there's a list of those files. I can pipe those into and now pick up that album and swipe the barcode reader across there. Worked the first time that time. Now if I list out, you can see there's a file with that name. It's a plain text file. It's basically our playlist. If I cat out that file, let's see, that would be this one here. You can see the names of the files are in there. So now I can say mplayer-playlist, if I could type today. And then if I pick up that album and I swipe the barcode reader across it, right off the bat, it will start playing that album. So you can do this for all your albums. And then anytime you want to listen to an album, you can pick it up, scan it with the barcode scanner, and it will start playing that album based on the MP3s you already have on your computer. Uh, obviously not necessarily the most practical way, but it's a cool thing to do, maybe when friends are over. Um, and maybe just maybe a way you like to do it. Uh, you could also have all the barcodes. You can print out a sheet with all your barcodes on it with the names of the albums above them, and then you can just swipe that barcode uh, the scanner across those barcodes and play the album. Now, obviously, you have to type M player each time, dash playlist, but let's look into putting that into a script. In fact, let's see if we can do it as a one liner. I'm going to go out here instead of writing out the script like I had before, I'm going to try to do it as a one liner. So I'm going to say, uh, echo, I'm going to say, Please scan barcode. And I'm also going to put a dash N here. That means don't go to new line. Just print that and wait for a response on that line. Then I'm going to say new command. I'm going to say read. And I'll just say a variable of X. And then we'll say playlist.x here. I'm sorry, dollar sign X here. And then we'll say done with that loop. And if I'm thinking correctly, we'll see. Uh, we can also start this off with a clear screen. I always like to do that. So I cleared the screen. Now it's asking me to scan a barcode. I'll just pick up one of the albums here. I'll do Year Zero Remixed. And I'll swipe that barcode. And it starts playing. And once again, I can jump through 
different songs. I can control C to kill that, and right away, again, it asks me to please scan a barcode, so now I can pick up the fragile. And swipe that. There we go. And it starts playing that album. And, um... That's it. Let's, uh, we can control C again to get out of that. We could also move that clear into the loop. Might be a better option here. Right now I'm just kind of throwing around ideas, trying to get you guys to think of other ways you could do, and I'd love if you did response videos on other ways of doing basically the same thing. So, same one-liner. I'm going to swipe, uh, let's see, we'll do the fragile. There we go. We're playing the fragile. I can hit enter to go to the next song. Whatever, I can control C to kill that. It asks me to scan another barcode. Once again, I'll pick up your zero. And swipe it. So once again, it's a fun little project you can do with the QCAT. I'm going to try to think of some other fun things we can do with the QCAT. Um, uh, another, you know, well, I'm coming up with other ideas now. I was going to start saying them, but let's uh, wait for those tutorials to do that. So... I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll have uh, this one-liner right here saved uh, in the description. There'll be a link to show notes in this video, and you'll be able to see that a little bit clearer there. I'll break it down into more of a script so it's not just one-liner, maybe a little bit easier to read. And uh, once again, this tutorial is kind of more of an idea type thing. I, I changed the way I was going to do this thing basically three times uh, so far, and uh, lots of different options and lots of different things you can do with a barcode reader uh, scanner. So, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.